trying to install the bottom mounting bracket, I have just hit a serious problem. So the 2.5 centimeter fan conflicts with the front panel pin. So the power reset, LED um, for HDD activity and so on. And I believe the audio um, the audio connector for the front panel is also somewhere here. So there's no way I can use a 2.5 centimeter fan here. And it's not even clear if using a slim fan will solve the issue because these pins happen to be right right up against the fan location. Alright, let's try to position this. Okay, so now this is positioned how it should be and you see that it's just hitting no, I actually don't see it's not focusing okay it's hitting the pins the connectors I'll try with a slim fan and hopefully that resolves the issue I have now reassembled the bottom bracket with a slim fan and I have also flipped the hard drive around so so that the SATA and power ports are on this side instead of the other side and there's now a little bit of an air gap between the fan and the hard drive. So let's see if this will now fit. Uh, let me line up the top screw holes first and then have a look inside. Oh! <clears throat> no. No way. That's not really fitting. Um. I hope you can see this as there's still a gap between the mounting bracket and and the case. It's not much. It's five millimeters or so. But but it looks like even with a slim fan, I am hitting I am hitting the cables here. I'm hitting the obstacles. All right, let me put down the camera and try to play around with it. I have now removed the front I.O. connector and pushed in the bottom bracket. And I hope you can see this. The fan is clearly covering up um, about half of the pins. And Asus Tough Gaming actually has lots of I.O. at the bottom. This also includes the SATA ports which are behind the hard drive there. So even a slim fan in the bottom position will just not work. Um, so I think an alternative would be to shift the fan from this position to this position where the hard drive is and then move the hard drive to the top mounting bracket where I had nothing installed thus far, according to my plan. This does apply longer SATA cable routing from below to the top. And I may still have issues actually with the SATA ports. Oh man. Yeah, the SATA ports are down there behind the HDD, but the HDD is not 12 centimeters wide. It's actually less, so installing the fan there will definitely create issues with the SATA port accessibility. But that will open up the front I.O. and the audio connectors. One could also probably just cut away a little bit of plastic on a slim fan. Uh, but that's not something I want to do right now. Okay, let me try moving the hard drive away, swapping the fan to a different position and see if this helps. As the top and the bottom mounting brackets are symmetrical, I have just flipped this one around to see what happens. On the one hand side, the hard drive is not as thick as the fan, so I could theoretically now put um, the audio front panel connectors while keeping the drive here. The problem is that is that the drive is right next to the 
GPU fans, so it will effectively block the GPU fans while also getting extremely hot in the process. So I should definitely remove the hardware from here. Now as for the fan, it does block essentially all of the SATA ports. And again the solution is either to file away a chunk of the plastic housing of the fan or use some very special low profile angled um, I would imagine this would be called 180 degree angled um, SATA cables down there. Uh, let me try with the SATA cables that I have, if any of them will fit, but this is not looking promising thus far. I might end up without any, any kind of air intake on the bottom for the GPU. That would be really bad. There's no way normal angled SATA connector will fit under this fan. And even if I had it angled in a different way, so right, right now the way it's angled is that it needs to be plugged in this way. Even if I had it angled so that it can be plugged in this way, I believe it is thicker after being plugged in, then there's a gap between the fan and the SATA connector. This really implies that I cannot have any intake on the bottom. <clears throat> so yeah, I need to look for um, some kind of super slim analog SATA connectors or even slimmer fans, but that means much lower CFM values or airflow values for the fan. Oh, this might be a deal breaker actually for me. I really don't want the intake to be placed on the top of the case. This, this makes no sense at all from the dust protection and airflow perspectives. And having air intake just on the side is not going to be enough. Because of the ATX PSU, I cannot fit two fans on the side mounting bracket. No matter if it's slim or thick, I can only fit one fan here or here, and obviously I will fit one here. But that just feeds the CPU, so the CPU is fine. But then the GPU down here will just starve without any air input that is being provided. Yeah, I could, maybe. I could maybe have an intake on the top, but then again it makes no sense. If I have an input here and exhaust here, that essentially means the air will just circle out of the case almost immediately. And it will also counter at the intake that I'm planning to put here. <clears throat> I could reverse this fan. So this one becomes intake. I could rotate the CPU cooler so it exhausts into the top bracket. And I could place an exhaust up there. This is not yet helping the GPU in any way. Yes, the only way to help the GPU would be to have this one as exhaust. This one as exhaust. And then cover up the back plate so that it doesn't let any air in. Um, and then have another e intake fan. Wait a minute. Exhaust, exhaust, intake. Oh, that is still alright. That's a negative pressure case then. And then some air will get from the bottom. But I really don't want a negative pressure case because that's horrible from the dust protection perspective. Yeah, let me think on this, but I might actually need my secondary case option that I was looking at to make this work. Because this one, this one seems to fail. 
Now let me think on this. Before I managed to order a new case, my wife reasonably suggested that first I attempt to modify the fan a little bit so that it allows all the connectors I would like to have. And so I've done. I have made a little cutout both edges. And let's see if this fits now. And yes, it fits both high definition audio and the front panel connectors can now fit into their sockets. Now I'm worried that the high definition audio cables passing by the fan, mm, let's say, might generate a little bit of noise in the line. And another issue is that down there, under the fan, there's one of the case fan connectors of the motherboard. I could make a cut out there, but it might interfere with the fan blades, so I'm not going to do this. I will probably have to feed this fan off of the other case fan header that is also used for the rear exhaust. And then for the side panel fan, I will probably use the um, secondary CPU fan header instead. So this is not the most beautiful solution but it might end up in a at least temporarily functional case.